The switch can be used for changing settings and in this case we want to use the switch for turning off a light and also turning it on again. And like you can see here we make use of Android specific, iOS specific and platform independent switches. For the last case we want to build a specific one. So here we have an image inside and if we turn this switch down then it has a different image inside. First of all we start in our state level and create a field value and this is then the flag for if our switch is turned on or off and then we go down and create our independent switch. So here inside we call switch adaptive and this means that we have on Android the Android specific switch and on iOS the iOS specific switch. After it you can put the boolean flag value here inside and you can also set here the on change handler so every time if you click on the switch we want to actually override this value inside of our field here and we also want to call here set state so that the UI gets updated. And then we have here this little switch and you can turn it off and also the light will turn off and we can also turn it on again. However, this switch is a little bit too small for my case and you can also make it bigger by calling this transform scale. So wrap your switch around this and then put here the scale property higher. So by default it is a scale of 1 and if you put your higher value inside then the switch gets bigger and you can also increase it more if you like so you have a real big switch here. Let's put it again back to 2. Right now we have here Android and this is the Android looking switch. Let's also look at how it will look on iOS. So we can simply click here on toggle platform and then you see that we have here the iOS switch inside. And now our phone behaves like it is an iOS device and we can again go here and toggle the platform and then we are back at Android. So everything works here out of the box fine and sometimes you want to have only iOS and that's what we want to look at now. So you can also create your specific iOS switch or if you like you can always create a specific Android switch. But first of all let's look at some other properties the switch has. So the first one is for example the active color and this is basically this sump color and here you can put a different color inside and then it looks like this. So our sump got blue. And you can also set this track color which is here in the background and therefore you have here this active track color and here you set for example a different color so I change it here with some opacity and then you see that this background color also changes and now we have here our switch and can turn it off and on and have here every time this color which we have defined here. With these two fields we change the active color so if it is turned on however if we turn this off the switch then we also have other fields so we can set here the inactive sump color which is the color of the sump here and we change it now to orange and this will be only for the inactive state and we also can set here this track color for inactive and then we can set here this track color for the inactive state however on the active state it looks then again different so we take this color here. If you want to have for the active state and the inactive state the same color, you can also use here these two fields, some color and here inside of this material state property you can set the color of the sump and this will be then for inactive and the active state. So I set it right now to red, then it looks like this and also if we toggle you see that we have here this red sump and you also have here this track color. So this will be also for inactive and active and here we set it for example to orange and then it looks like this and you see that both cases inactive and active have the same color. Lastly we can here also change the splash radius. So here by default if I tap here you see we have a splash radius around our sump. However, you can also increase it. So I set it for example to 50. And now if I click here, you see that the splash radius is increased. Now we want to look at the other cases. So we want to build an Android specific switch, an iOS specific switch, and also here this special switch at the bottom. And by the way, if you want to get this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a better developer. Let's quickly create our iOS switch 
and therefore we use here this Cupertino switch and inside we put again the value and the unchanged like we did before. So this looks exactly the same as before. And then we have here our iOS switch and you see it is not adaptive because I'm here on Android and therefore we have here also on the Android platform this iOS switch. If you like to make it again bigger, then simply put this transform scale around and put your higher scale than one inside. And then you see it got a bit bigger and you can even increase it a bit more if you like. However, I will keep it here with 1.1. Let's also create our Android specific switch and therefore we create here a switch widget. And here you need to make sure that you don't call this switch adaptive, what we did before, because then it is platform dependent. However, what we want to have is only a switch for the Android platform. And here inside you put again the value and unchanged property inside like before. So simply copy it. And then we have here our Android switch. And again, it's a bit small. So you can also put again this transform scale inside and then you have a bigger switch. Lastly, we want to create this Android specific switch with an image. So we have an image for some up and we also have it for some down. And that's what we want to create right now. Therefore, we create again a normal switch and put the value and the unchanged property inside like before. And by the way, it looks then like this. And you can also put here some size so you can change the width. You cannot change the height, but you can change the width. And then it gets here larger and you can even put your even higher value inside. And then you can change the width of your switch. To increase the height, you only have here the choice of scaling it up. And then it also increases the height. Now let's look at the specific images we can add. And therefore we have in our switch the property active sum image where we can set, for example, an asset image. And I have created here some images inside of our asset folder. And these are what we want to load here. So I simply reference them here. So we have this asset sums up PNG and this is exactly this one. And we also want to reference the other one for the inactive sum image. And this will be then the second state if our switch is turned off. So let's try it out. You see that here the inactive state, we have our sums down. And for the active state, if I go to the active state, then we have the sums up. And we can also change here the background color of these sums again. So what we learned before, we simply change first of all the track color. I put here some gray color inside and we also can add here our sum color. So I set, for example, an active color of green. So it fits to our image. And also for the other color, for the inactive color, we can set a red color and then it also fits more to our image. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!